Hello, welcome to Spurverts Part 2, where we talk about the things we are supposedly excited about. Craig, don't know about you, are you excited about the Europa League draw? We've got Fiorentina again. Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, on Monday, I, I tuned into the Champions League draw, which everyone was talking about. And then when that finished, the Europa League draw started and, you know, no one was talking everyone about it. Yeah, I was, I'm so excited that we've got Fiorentina again, the team that knocked us out of the Europa League last year. It was, I mean, that is Spursy, isn't it? I mean, I genuinely, an, about an hour before it came out, I was going to tweet saying 100% guaranteed we will get Fiorentina. Once I saw the people we could get, didn't do it, and then we only blood, go and bloody get them, and I haven't done the sweet, sweet prediction that would have made me famous. But there are two, <laughs> there are two <laughs> things that we can be optimistic about. One, no Soldado. And I know you guys love him, but you have to remember the chance remember he completely that squandered it. Remember, remember it. That fucking remember pass, it. Guys. Remember, I am scarred yeah. by the memory of that. And the second thing is they ain't got Mo Salah or Salah or whatever his name is. Not Mo Salah, that's Mo Farah. Mo Farah. <laughs> Salah, they haven't got Salah, okay? He was absolutely phenomenal, the player that used to play for Chelsea. Where is he now? Is he back at Chelsea? Is he rotting over Who's there? Who's Salah? Or? Oh, yeah. who cares? As long as he's not... Most Salah. Not, uh, <laughs> yes. Most Salah. Yeah, I think he's in the Olympics. Um, yeah, Salah, that's good that they haven't got him. He's but they are second uh, Sorry, in yeah. Syria, yep. uh, which is worrying, as we are not second. And I think that player, Illich, really. is that how you pronounce it? Remember, I'm not great at pronouncing yeah, names. He, um, he's scoring loads of goals. They do look good, Fiorentina, but I don't. I, we can beat them. We can beat them. We, can, we sort of need to yeah. now because I really think we've got to properly go for the Europa League. I think we've got League. to go for it. We've got we to really to. go for it. We've got to we go have for to full go for it. first team in the Europa League. We've got to beat Fiorentina. We can We can do it. We, we can, can do it. It's not an ideal them, draw. Yeah. We'd all like to get the team that United got. Yeah, uh, they, they got a typo. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. They, they got a typo. Cat ran across the keyboard and made up a football team about it. Um, <laughs> you know, they were started in like 1999. Really? Well, they did beat Southampton. Or was it 2009, maybe? It was very recent. 2009. They beat Southampton, those, those guys. Yeah, so that means we could beat Southampton. It means they'll easily beat United. Yeah. Um, all right, what about the fact that DeAndre Yedlin has been nominated for the 2015 US Player of the Year? Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, oh come really? off it. Who, who is there in contention? Him, Dempsey. Tim Howard. Dempsey. Um, Howard. It's like the whole Son and Kagawa thing. Yeah, like, there's yeah. no competition. For these places. Is this the same Yedlin who was subbed off after 20 minutes for Sunderland the other day? Unfortunately, <laughs> it is. Oh, US Player of the Year. Well done, America. The player that um, was uh, put on loan and we kept Trippier. I mean, I mean that says everything about the man. I mean, Trippier's been absolutely awful. Yet he's no. third in the pe pecking Trippier order. Was good. Trippier was good against Monaco. Every, it was Monaco were awful and everyone yeah. looked good against. Let's be honest, okay? Everyone, everyone looked good. good against Monaco. Everyone, everyone looked good against Monaco. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's a different, separate issue for another time. Yeah. Um, look, look. US Player of the Year, America, they're trying to get into soccer. We're trying to get the US contingent over here. Yeah. We're trying to bring it over here, get some more American fans. I know there's a lot of American people who watch this. Yeah. So, Yedlin, we wish you the best. We want you to become quality and be able to play for us at right back because you're rapid as well, which is good. I think you should have um, been an Olympian. Do you think? Yeah, you know, US, like Mo US, Salah. They're, good at, good, they're good at sprinting, US athletes. So you should yeah. just, you just be an Olympian. You've got cool yeah. hair as well that makes him look quicker. Yeah. That's why it's all going to back like not for you, mate. It's not. Look, US Player of the Year, we hope you win it, mate. We very much hope you win it. Yeah. And it's a good award. Casey Keller, we remember you. Um, Townsend, what about Townsend? Remember oh, him? No. Uh, he scored for the under-21s against Everton in a one-all draw. Uh, should he be back in the team, what? do you think? Townsend, Yedley, all these free... We're talking about all these... Is this Spurverts or Erverts? Uh, like, why are we talking about these yucky nonsense players? That no Townsend, for me, uh, he, he's the one who's asked to play for the under-21s because he obviously had that bust-up that got him out of the yeah, first Yeah, he signed his death squad. certificate with that. Exactly, that. yeah. That was and it. He, uh, and so he, he needs to keep fit. But all, I don't know whether he's trying to impress Mopo to get back in the squad or he wants to keep fit so he can get a move in January. Probably a bit of both. Probably a bit of both. His you know agent must have told him, keep fit, mate. Keep yeah. playing games for one or the other. We'll find out. But a lot of people, interestingly, have been saying that they want him in there because he's he's a, a Spurs supporter. He's one of our homegrown players and he's very passionate. Mm. And sometimes we got players that maybe in games like against Newcastle, they lack the passion to go and win it. But I just don't yeah. think he possesses the quality, to be honest. Well, the problem is that we've got a lot of Belgians and Belgians are, don't seem to express emotions, do they? They're very laid think back. Think about how they? laid back Chadley and Jan and Alderville and Dembele Even Dembele are. when he's they just is very laid back. They just chilled out. Alderweireld is not laid back though. He well, I don't think he's, he's relaxed. He's quite relaxed. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't cower they in all the face like of danger. They all look like they're blazing it. 
But he's he's really out there busting the gut, unlike the rest yeah, of the Yeah, no, they're Belgians. trying. They're trying hard, although I'm not sure about Chadley. But they do look, they just look chilled out. Whereas yeah, Townsend do. comes on, he looks like, God, I, God, I need to impress everyone right now. That's the thing, he tries too hard, it's though. It's too hard, and it, it's actually a bit It's kind of like what Son is doing right now. Just yeah. trying way too hard. he's just absolutely smashing it over the bar. A bit like Townsend, and we don't want another it's one of them. Rosy. Um, yeah, personally, I don't think he should be back in the team. Uh, I think we'd have to have a lot of injuries. He's quite low down the pecking order as well. 15 as million concerned. for him maybe in January, hopefully. Oh, I don't uh, can't premium. See us getting that. I'll, just, I'll, take, I'll take five. Um, anyway, this has been Spurbucks. Hopefully, we get 15 million. A lovely Christmas present for Andros Townsend. Uh, let us know what you think. Should Townsend be back in the squad? Are you happy with the Europa League draw? DeAndre Yedlin, US fans, tell us should he win US Player of the Year? Make sure you give the like a like to the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we will see you soon.